Hey y'all. Hold on real quick. I need some good music in the background that I can hear that you can't hear. Alexa, play Fantasia on Pandora. Thank you, girl. Let's get into this conversation and talk. <sighs> Sorry, yeah, for the little mess. Boy, I know the real you. Faking shit gonna kill you. Boy, I know the real you. Faking shit gonna kill you. Boy, I know the real you. Faking shit gonna kill you. Boy, I know the real you. So. I have evidence, silent evidence, that black boys do go for the crazy chicks. I just need you to know this. Black boys do go for the crazy white chicks. I have evidence. Because this one girl, she was so crazy back in high school. Really crazy. We ain't finna say no names. We ain't finna say no names, but this one chick was so good and crazy, we thought she was a psychopath. Ain't finna say no names, but this is evidence that white black boys do go with crazy white chicks, and she's his evidence, because guess what? Now she got a black boyfriend. I'm just saying. Craziness don't go far. So, black boys, I gotta, I gotta ask you, why do you love these white crazy girls? Please tell me. Please. Um, let me take my glasses off. Please tell me why do you love these crazy white girls? Y'all gonna end up one day dead. You gonna wake up dead. And nobody ain't gonna know what happened to you. And all that you gonna be doing is doing like this in your grave. I just wanna know why. Why? Why do y'all go for these crazy girls? Why go for a crazy girl if you got a bitch like me around here? Why you gotta mess with a crazy bitch if you got a nigga like me around here who's single? I can cook, clean. I'm a white. I'm part white. I'm black and Indian, but I'm part white. You want me to be crazy? I could be crazy. I can do it. Like, come on now. Let, let's be for real. If you know me, you know I can be crazy. So please keep it honest with me. Why can't it be me? If you want somebody crazy, you should have called me. I'm just saying. Can, can I get comfortable? Can I get comfortable? Let's get comfortable. Because I'm I'm still trying to I'm still trying to understand this. You done. Just saying. We we just gonna I'm just gonna shut my mouth. Woo! <laughs> y'all saw that? <laughs> Do y'all hear that? <laughs> Wait, did that hips? Oh shoot. That popped like a wild cracker. Okay. Now we can talk. What is going on, y'all? Please, please ex inspire me to what's going on. I'm trying to find out. Ah, this is very good champagne. I want to understand this, y'all. Why do I'm just I'm trying to understand. Please let me understand. This is the whole situation, not just about the crazy white girls. This is my whole situation with the whole, a whole, that whole topic. The whole topic. The whole shebang, the whole shebang. Why do niggas go with females who ain't nothing but trash? I need to know. I need to know. Why do females get the good guys, but niggas like me, who are know how to cook, clean, we respectable, we never cheat. But you go for the crazy, dumbass bitches. Bitches who ain't got no lives and all this other bullshit. 
So do you niggas love being abused? Do you niggas love breaking up and getting back with your girlfriends? Do you niggas love that? Because I think that if that was the case, hey, that's why a lot of us good people who do be in these good relationships don't got nobody. Because you want these ghetto bitches. You want these trash hoes. You want somebody who don't got no standards. I'm just saying. I'm asking you, please explain, explain to me. Y'all got these good girls and these good guys in this world who will worship you. They will love you. They won't take no bullshit. So it's okay. Okay. So I see it now. I see. I understand now. I understand. I understand. So you want a bitch who will do everything you say. They don't got no brain. Huh. Hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the concept. I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand this concept, but okay, hold on. Okay, then tell me. You don't know? I guess I don't know either. Tell me why. And any one of you, anybody, please somebody comment. Somebody explain why do ghetto bitches, why do why do the Unwanted um, women and men get these dumb ass hoes who don't even give a fuck about you. They would cheat on you, not do shit for you. They don't give you good head. They don't give you good anything. But you motherfuckers out here sleeping around with these bitches. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Can I give a toast? Let's give a toast. You want to give a toast? Let's give a toast to all these dumb niggas. A toast to these niggas and bitches getting with the low class beneath them lovers. You're supposed to upgrade when you get into a relationship, not downgrade, baby. But since y'all love these ugly, low standard, not want to be good housewives. Huh? This sex ain't good? Trust me, I could hit you up with one of these niggas down the street. And they could tell you that they had a bitch with low standards. But, but sex wasn't good. Now I told you I talked to a bitch how. Did I say that? Some of you bitches need a lot of gay friends. I'm sorry. Some of you bitches need gay friends. Because y'all pussy gay need to be stepped up. Oh, fuck. I'm out of champagne. Oh, well. Well, I'm just saying that some of you bitches might do need some gay friends. Because a lot of these niggas complain about y'all sex games. Yes, my podcast is different from all the others, and my shit just going to be random. You will never know what I'm talking about, baby, till you see it. I'm just saying. I just don't understand. We, people like me, people like me, we are good. We are, we cook in the kitchen. We the hard workers. We will love you. We will take care of you. We will worship you. You're the king. We're the queen. We're the queen. You're the king. King, queen, all this other stuff. King, king, queen, queen. But y'all get these jokers. Y'all get with these jokers. Let me me see. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You get with these jokers. Nappy head ass bitches. Bitches with some nappy ass weave. Bitches with two dollar weaves. Talking about she's beautiful. Yeah, bitch, just because she got good wigs from the two dollar store and she looks pretty doesn't mean she got all the goddamn sense you need. Look at this. Look at this. Bitch. 
This is how I feel about bitches like that. That's how I feel about them. I'm gonna need you niggas and bitches. When y'all choose these next lovers, choose a bitch and a nigga who gonna love you forever. And when you choose the niggas who gonna love women, let me come from your point of view. Women, choose somebody who gonna love you for you. Choose somebody who gonna love your outer self, your inner love. Look, ladies, find you a man who gonna love you for you. And not no nigga who just gonna knock your ass up and hell give you a baby boy that don't wanna take care of it. I think some of you people need to dust your brain cells and get together with your brain and talk. Brain, I need you to help me be smarter. Okay. Cause a lot of you bitches need to be dusted. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, let me just dust you. You, you done? Okay. Let's get back on the topic we was on last night. Let's talk about these iPhones. Woo! Let's talk about iPhones, y'all. Let's talk about how iPhone X's are getting discontinued. Let's talk about that. Come on. We gonna talk about that. We gonna talk about that. We gonna talk about that. Now, y'all done made all these goddamn memes. Y'all done made all these motherfucking memes about iPhone X. What you gonna do for the iPhone X? How you gonna suck a dick for the iPhone X? How you gonna get with a creep for the iPhone X? How you gonna do this for the iPhone X? iPhone X, iPhone X. What you gonna do for the iPhone X? iPhone X, iPhone X. But now that the iPhone X is out, None of you bitches wouldn't buy it. Where's all this confidence at? Where's all this confidence that you had about the iPhone X? Tell me. Where is it? Uh, Y'all was all about the iPhone X. All about it. I was hearing so much about the iPhone X. My uncle that bought the iPhone X. My cousins that bought the iPhone X. I ain't finna buy the iPhone X. Cause it's too goddamn much money. Do you not? Hold on. The iPhone X is a house note. If you were lucky to have a thousand dollar iPhone. I mean a thousand dollar house note. The iPhone is a, your rent for a month. No. If you, some of you bitches, the iPhone X is two months worth of rent. Hang on, let me think. The iPhone X is a car note. The iPhone X can pay for some of you bitches student loans. Some of your iPhone X could pay for you bitches better weave. I'm just speculating. I'm just speculating. So, congratulations, y'all. Hello. A toast to those who said they was going to buy the iPhone X. And now, because of you, it will be discontinued by the summertime if the prices don't go well. Shalom. Shalu, 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 Shalu. I'm just saying. <sighs> I'm gonna laugh if they are serious about discontinuing the iPhone X. Anybody who haven't got the iPhone X yet, you might want to go spend your apartment money up because they about to go away. I pray to God. There's somebody to be so lucky in having the money to buy them an iPhone X because you know they want one. I'm just going to be lucky for them. 
Because I'm not buying an iPhone, baby. An iPhone is half mine. You know what? Hold on. The iPhone X is half of mine student loan. If I was to pay a thousand dollars on an iPhone X, I could be paying my student loan back. Hell, that will cut my student loan completely down. My student loan is one thousand two hundred seventy-five dollars. Bitch, please. A thousand dollar phone, bitch. All I had. Ooh, ooh. Do you know what I would do with a thousand dollars? Bitch, if I had a thousand dollars, motherfucker, I would be paying the student loan back. Y'all bitches out here getting the iPhone X's, but can't pay your bills. Some of you bitches out here getting the iPhone X, and motherfucker can't pay nobody back. How you broke bitches getting the iPhone? That's all right. You know what, iPhone? Do not cancel the iPhone X yet. Guess what? Because income tax is coming in. And that's where a lot of you niggas might get a relationship at. A lot of you people are getting relationships through, I, through all this. A lot of y'all are getting relationships because niggas and bitches out here wanting to get on your in income tax information. So that's why a lot of you are having a relationship. If you have a boyfriend right now, if you not notice that it's income season, then your boyfriend's only there for income season. Your boyfriend will be leaving you, or your girlfriend will be leaving you in, after income season. But guess what? A lot of you dumb, dumb hoes be letting these niggas walk into your life around income season. And have anybody not noticed that income season is the only time where mamas and daddies really want to claim their kids? Oh, so I'm wrong for saying that? I'm wrong? I'm wrong for what? It's true! Isn't it? That's the only time y'all want to claim y'all kids. Is when income taxes is around. None of my business. None of my business. I'm just gonna... Dust that away. Alexa, volume five. <sighs> oh, you still mad at me? Y'all mad at me because I said that this is the only time you want to claim your children. Yeah, y'all don't want to try that. You you don't want to try me on that, cause that's I noticed that a lot of you, especially you foster parents, y'all really finna be happy as a motherfucker. Y'all really about to be happy. You foster parents who got these kids around income season, you you really about to be rich. I guess. Do people get income tax for having foster children? Don't no ask me. That's some good champagne, by the way. <sighs> okay, so it's time for me to do my promotion part, I guess, of this rant. If you bitches want to get some good hair, good hair, but you bitches on an income fix down, go to Google Learn Hair. Get your price, find you some weave that could look alright. Then if you don't got the full amount, they got a payment plan. Good luck hair, good luck hair, good luck hair is the hair for you. Good luck hair, good luck hair, got a payment plan for you nappy assholes who ain't got no hair. Go get your weave. Go get it soon. You gonna need this hair. It's really good shit. You gonna need it on top of your head. Take that bonnet off. Get your ass on that phone. Type Goulart hair. G-O-U-L-D hair. I think I spelled it right. Goulart hair. G-O-U-L-D hair dot com. 
And just for me, making sure I spelled that right because the person that I'm promoting this from, yeah, she might kill me. So let's get this phone out. Hold on, yeah. Let's let's make sure this is right. Because I don't want to get killed. I value my life. But it's Goulart Hair. G-O-U-L-D Hair.com My friend Destiny is doing a wonderful job with it, y'all. It's Goulart Hair. No, I don't got no Goulart Hair yet because I've been doing other things. But you need to get some because I've been noticing y'all edges ain't looking right. <sighs> Goulart Hair. Best quality hair in the world. If you want some hair, go to Goulart Hair. Goulart Hair. Please. Try out their bundles. Their bundles are ridiculously good prices. And we finna take that shit in. I know I gotta go, go on here somewhere. I'm about to say, did I have to did it just delete the Google? I cannot believe I just accidentally deleted Google. No, not Google. Oopsie. Well, we're gonna type this in. And Sunday, y'all. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I have a performance downtown at the Brown Street. I can't remember the name. We're gonna type this in right quick so I can make sure. Oh, Goulart. G O U L D hair. Your, your hair. It's hair, yeah, it's hair. I'm trying to make sure it's in the right name, so shit, I don't want to get cussed out. Well, they did choose a thing like that. Hold on. Yeah, we're just going to put the link in the thing later. But, go lot of hair. I, I, I wish I could call her. I cannot believe I deleted Instagram. Though. I can't believe. I think she texted me on the Facebook Messenger. Nobody misspells it. I'm going to send a link to y'all. Anybody who wants the link to the wig thing, I'm going to send it to you. Myself. I don't want to misrepresentation of nobody's product. I'm trying to um get this together. Destiny. I don't want to think her name is Destiny on here. Okay, next topic. After that, the next topic. Say it ought to be Gula the heck is G O U L D. So that's her last name. So I ought to be spelling this crap. I mean, this shit right. Okay. I think I'm right. Yeah, because she did say it was her last name. G O U L D. G O U L D. Hair.com. That is www.gulathair.com. G O U L D hair dot com. Don't get, don't kill me, girl. I'm trying to make sure I got everything right. But y'all, I am excited for Sunday. I'm definitely excited because I'm happy. I'm so happy that God has blessed me to be part of a grand opening hair salon and I'm having this opportunity to perform down there I have to get down there by 12 o'clock noon Sunday so that probably when a lot of you people could be getting out of church and I will make sure to go Facebook live I'm gonna go Facebook live doing this whole time so please watch 
tune in. I'm going to be posting. I'm going to be letting you know. I'm going live when I get there. And as soon as I hit that door outside of that Uber and I go to that sixth floor, I'm going live. I'm going to be taking pictures. I don't know who's going to be there, but I hope the opportunities will be blessing, blessings, and nothing but blessings. Yeah, excuse me, I'm kind of drunk right now. <sighs> you know the alcohol calms. I need to go get me some old champagne. And yeah, some wine. Wine and champagne is what I need the most when I don't feel like drinking the hard, 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 hard stuff. Okay. So, and the last thing on my to-do list. Ladies, this is a public service announcement from Black Rose to you. Ladies, I'm not a threat to you. I don't want your man. I cannot help if your man DMs me or when I start to have a conversation as a friendly person that your man offers me his body parts. Ladies, do not blame me for your relationship failing if your relationship was failing from the beginning. Ladies, I'm coming, peace. So, y'all, I'm just saying. So, let us see how long we've been on here. We've been on here for 26 minutes. I'm getting tired. So this will be the end and the conclusion of the Black Rose Talking Pity Day. I will see you next Tuesday and hope to God that we have a better connection than we did yesterday. So, yes, have a wonderful day. And once I get